Hey everybody. So today we're going to talk about self-sabotage. <laughs> this was a really, this past week was a fucking weird ass week for me. Like weird, weird. And <laughs> in so many ways. <laughs> so, um, it got me thinking though, you know, I was talking to, a, I was talking to Natalie and she was asking me, she was like, I was talking to her about some stuff and she was asking me, well, are you self-sabotaging? Is it possible that you're self-sabotaging? And what was going on? And I was thinking to myself, bitch, I don't know. <laughs> like I had to sit there and think about that. And I was like, huh, could I be? That's a very fair and valid thing to bring up in the situation that I found myself in. Um, I came to the conclusion though <laughs> that I was not, I will not bore you all with with that bullshit, but <laughs> it got me thinking about self-sabotage in general. Now we all do this. <clears throat> Some do it more than others. We all do this. Uh, I did happen to come to the, conclu <laughs> the conclusion in, in this particular situation that I was not doing that. There were other things that were coming up that I have to deal with, I guess, but <laughs> I guess I have to, but, um, <laughs> This particular case was not self-sabotage, but we all do self-sabotage at times. Some are more inclined to do this than others. Now, for self-sabotage, in the natal chart, you would look at the 12th house. Now, I want to be careful with this because the 12th house is a lot of things. It's a whole bunch of shit. Um, I'll link a video that I did about the 12th house to this video so you can see what I'm talking about if you haven't seen it. Um, but it's one of those houses, kind of like the eighth house that gets a, I mean, it's not as unfair. Both of these houses are more, can be more challenging, but that's not all they are. There are a lot, there's a lot of good that goes on in these houses too. So I do try to stay away from looking at these houses, specifically these houses from a challenging lens, especially because so many people already fucking do that. <laughs> There's so many videos, so many posts, so many things about, about the, the more challenging parts to the 12th and the 8th houses. But, um, because this week did bring up some thoughts about if I do this or not, if I was doing this in that moment, it got me thinking about self-sabotage in the natal chart and how you can kind of look to see ways and places that you might be inclined to do this yourself. And that way you can kind of stop yourself. If you, if you know what to look for in your chart, you can kind of stop yourself when you think you might be doing that and ask yourself, am I self-sabotaging? That's really a good thing to ask regardless if you're looking at a natal chart or not, right? Am I self-sabotaging? That's an important thing to know. Um, because if that's what you're doing, you can stop yourself before you do anything, <laughs> uh, before you pull the trigger and actually self-sabotage. Um, so, okay. The 12th house is one of the houses that you, is, is the house that you would look at for this. It is an unconscious place. Um, so it might not be totally conscious that you are doing this. <laughs> um, the sign on the house cusp, on the 12th house cusp, 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 well, kind of, um, uh, might show you how you do this or could show you how, mind you, this is just from the lens of self-sabotage. The 12th house is many other things. But when you're reading the 12th house, do take this into consideration. So let's say you had, <clears throat> I don't know, Aries on the cusp of the 12th house. Perhaps self-sabotage self comes by way of impulse. It could, like unconscious impulses. Um, it could even come by way of... Um, because this house is, is, is so unconscious, one of the ways that somebody with Aries on the cusp of the 12th house might self-sabotage is by not consciously knowing what drives them or their own need for independence. Um, all of those things could come out to play there. Those could be ways that an Aries 12th house cusp person, that might be how this happens. Um, okay, let's say Jim and I, I'm just going to throw some random ones out there. Let's say Jim and I was on the cusp of the 12th house. You might be looking at somebody who, um, 
perhaps the things that they are unconsciously curious about. Um, that might lead to some kind of self-sabotage. Um, there could be some uh, gossip, talking, communication. There could be something going on there. Um, that could be self-sabotaging. Um, that certainly could happen. I also find sometimes with, with, with Gemini on the cusp of the 12th house, because Gemini is, you might find somebody who, because the 12th house wants you, you've got to dig very deep into the unconscious for the, for the 12th house. Um, Gemini is not, Gemini energy is not always comfortable doing that. Um, so you might find somebody who is not comfortable, does not feel like they can dig as deep as they, as they should be able to. This could also be how they, um, how they sabotage themselves. It could, it could play in. Um, just some ideas. Let's say you've got Scorpio on the cusp of the 12th house. Um, so perhaps the person's, um, Scorpio is pretty extreme. It can be an, ex it's, it's extreme. So perhaps when they self-sabotage, it is in more extreme ways. <laughs> um, there could be um, self-sabotage could deal with control or lack of control. Because um, Scorpio energy also does deal with, with control. So, um, and power. So somebody with, with Scorpio on the cusp of the 12th, they might, um, they might self-sabotage by way of too much or too little control or power the whole chart would depend on you know exactly what that looks like but it could it could kind of go either way it'll go one of those ways probably probably one of those ways but it would depend on everything going on in the chart as to how that plays out um okay so then from there obviously you know you might be you might be sitting here thinking okay well i don't have any you might Everybody does self-sabotage, right? And, and and there's this there's this idea that if you if you don't have planets in the twelfth house, you're not inclined to do this. That's bullshit. <laughs> because we all have planetary dispositors, right? The 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 planetary rulers of the twelfth house cusp will all fall somewhere else in the chart. Meaning that self-sabotage or or any way that you look at the twelfth house, right, from whatever lens you're looking at it. You could be looking at it up from escapism lens, from you know, a dreaming lens from a, you know, all, all, all kinds of things, right? But from a self-sabotage lens, everybody is going to have a, a 12th house planetary dispositor somewhere else in the chart. So we all have this propensity. Yes, people with planets in the 12th house, they might be a little bit more geared to do this. <clears throat> but don't think you're off the hook just because you don't have anything there. <laughs> I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, okay, so let's say you had, uh, since I'm not looking at a chart, I'm not really going to like pay attention to just, yeah, <laughs> I'm not looking at a chart, so I'm just going to start tossing stuff out. Um, let's say you had the planetary ruler of the 12th house in the third house, in the third. Third house is, is is communication it or it's you know it's thinking it's logic and reason it is uh sharing information learning the all of those sorts of things so if somebody has the uh planetary ruler of the 12th house and the third you might be looking at somebody who perhaps it's possible that self-sabotage comes or or is expressed through um, the way they share or don't share information, um, or share things just in general. Um, self-sabotage could be, could deal with what they think about or how they learn even, or, or what, you know, you know what I mean? All of those, all of those kinds of things might tie in. Um, of course you'd want to, like if we were talking about say, um, Jim and I on the cusp of the 12th house and then it is the yeah, mercury fell in the third house this feels like this would probably be even say stronger a stronger possibility since we're dealing with with mercury and mercury's communication to the mind and all of that um you'd want to take everything into account but 
12th house ruler, planetary ruler of the 12th house in the third. Self-sabotage might come through a way of learning, thinking, sharing information, communicating, all those sorts of things. Um, okay. So let's say you've got the ruler of the planetary ruler of the 12th house in the fifth. Um, you might be looking at somebody who self-sabotages through the risks they take. Uh, fifth house is like risk taking, things like that. Um, that could be a way that they self-sabotage. Even the things that they find pleasurable. Um, this is not universal, mind you. This does not have to go this way. But um, yeah, perhaps self-sabotage comes through the things that they find pleasurable. Um, they could even self-sabotage relationships that they have with their children. Since fifth house is children. Uh, they could self-sabotage through dating. Through dating and, and, and the lighter sides of, you know, sex and relationships. That's always possible too. Um, okay, let's say you've got the ruler of the 12th house in the 10th house. You could be looking at somebody who um, they self-sabotage through their career, um, through their reputation, um, through their through the public spheres of life. That actually feels like it could be embarrassing. The 12th, the 12th house, uh, the planetary ruler of the 12th house in the 10th does not have to go this way. Um, I was working with a, with a, with a student and we were looking at a, at a famous person's chart with the 12th house ruler in the 10th. And in this, in this person's case, it, it seemed like it was more like a, um, like a, a way, for, like career was a way for them to escape. It seemed more like that, like it would go that way, but for the person that, for a person that has the 12th house ruler and the 10th house, you, this person might want to keep an eye on how they could self-sabotage through their career, through their reputation, through the way they climb social ladders, all of those sorts of things. I would definitely think that that could be possible. It doesn't have to go that way. But, um, but yeah, I guess just, uh, take a look in your own chart. And if you feel like sharing, um, you know, where, what's going on in your 12th house, you also, you want to make sure if you've got, if there are any planets in the 12th house, take those into consideration as well. Planets are what is needing to be expressed, what energy is needing to be expressed. So that what is going to play into any 12th house self-sabotage that could be going on. If that goes on for you, it goes on for everybody a little bit, but you know, um, if you wanted to look at the 12th house from this way, reading a chart, you would definitely want to take any planets in the 12th house into account, along with any planets that fall in the house where the planetary dispositor of the cusp of the 12th house falls too. But I would take, I would bring those in after you've done this part that I was talking about in the video. Anyway, I'm going to get going. If, um, if you feel like sharing, leave comments about, you know, if you feel like this might be accurate, if you feel like you might actually self-sabotage when you do in the ways of the 12th house or where the planetary dispositor falls. Um, but okay, if you want to follow us on Instagram, you can find us at Let's Fuck With Astrology. I am at Saturn Season Astrology on Instagram. Natalie is at Paternal Astrology on Instagram. If you want to like or subscribe or whatever the fuck people do with videos on YouTube, you can find us by searching for Let's Fuck With Astrology in the YouTube search bar. If you're watching this on YouTube right now, you can like and subscribe if you have not already. <laughs> If you do the Reddit thing, come join us on the subreddit. Let's fuck with astrology. Just don't be an asshole when you come there. <laughs> Please. We dealt with a real dick this week. <laughs> Just be nice. Play nice. Don't be a dick. And if you're interested in the star cards, go to letsfuckwithastrology.com slash star dash cards. Okay, y'all. I'll see y'all later.